All right, hi again. Today I'd like to talk to you about some features coming in a future version of Howler. And we've got some new parameters coming to the Curve tool. So I'll just jump in there and show you the new options. There's uh, uh, what we've previously had before, Catmull, ROM, and BeastFlyne. Uh, but there are now some new parameters here called Uniform, Centripetal, and Quarter Length. Uh, uniform is what we've had before, the typical unicor, uni, Uniform Curve. Um, which is a typical cat mole wrong curve, and I'll show you that. We'll just go ahead and edit something, and there you go. That's a curve. You can edit it. You can add points. You can delete points, uh, move them around. You can move the whole curve around. You can store it. Um, you can change it. You can restore it later, that kind of thing. Lots of things you can do with that, but there were one or two little problems that might arise in certain situations. Let's say we took these two points very near the top and moved them close together. Well, you see this weird little loop forming, and that's it could be useful, but for the most point, you just really want this curve to move from uh, one point to the another to the next smoothly, and you don't want to have weird little artifacts like that. But that is the uh, standard. Catmull ROM curve that does that, and well, uh, it would be nice to have a option to get rid of that, wouldn't it? Yes. Um, so as we go here, we'll take a look at the options. There's centripetal, and there's chord length, and you can see in both cases, it does take care of that. And especially this chord length, it seems to cause the uh, the curve to pass through each of these points very smoothly, whereas the um, centripetal it does uh, guarantee to eliminate. It is guaranteed to eliminate those loops, but um, we get a much tighter fit to the points and not quite as smooth a uh, uh, passing through. But you may that may be desirable, um, depending on, on what you need. If you need something that looks just like a, a regular Catmull-Rom curve, but without the loops, then that might be the option. Um, one other problem, and I'll. Uh, Go to a website here. Let's see. There it is. Um, and show you another problem we have here. And this is how curves are deal with time. And if we were using this as a, a normal curve for drawing a shape, that really wouldn't matter. But if you're using it as a uh, an animation path, then that really gets to be a big issue. Um, as you can see, the traditional curve types have these time steps and it will have the same number of time steps for this long span and then the same number of time steps for these two points that are very close together so you i don't know how how many that is maybe it's 20 maybe it's 10 but um you'll have the exact same number of time steps for these two points that are very close together and that could be really bad because whatever you're moving along that path will slow down and then speed up when it leaves that uh, and it gets down here and it slows down and every time it gets near a, a set of points it also um, slows down and speeds up and that's very undesirable so let's take a look at that I'll go back to the uniform type I'll keep that loop in there just to so we remember what we're doing I got this brush here and I'm going to let's see it's a grape I'm going to move that along those curves. I'll click on here, animate a brush along a path. It will do that for me, and we will play that. So let's see. Go ahead and play it. And as you can see, it does some really weird stuff as it gets to those points. It goes around that loop and all kinds of stuff. And it's very unpleasant to look at. So let's stop that. And I will clear this. And I will now make that a uh, chord length. No, a centripetal. No, chord length. That's the one. Um, and I will animate along that. And I will play that. Let's see. Hit play. And you can see it now smoothly passes through each control point without any loops uh, without speeding up or slowing down you get a very nice looking animation all right so 
I hope that gives you an idea what these new options are about. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.